Oh, oh she's oh, so cute. Oh, she's oh, a friend. Friend. Yeah. friend. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't know them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yabba dabba do. We have the Over Rice crew, and welcome back to another podcast. Okay, so I spent some time on TikTok, and do you watch um, Reddit stories on TikTok? I do. Yeah. I feel like it's the audiobook for 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 like internet poo poo posting. You know? <laughs> oh, good, good. Oh, good, save, good, save. good save. Good save. Good um, save. Yeah. So I was I was reading through it, and do you ever see the A I T A? Am I the booty hole? Am I the? So um, I, I mm. came across quite a few stories, and I don't know. It, it hit me. It struck a chord with me. Um, I didn't I didn't end up saving them, but I got a couple of others I, I found interesting, and I want to read to you guys, and we'll get into, but we won't get into just yet. They're about relationships. Now, I know every man here is actually quite different. Oh, um, boy. In the state that they're in. Some man healing. Some man Dying. avoiding. Some man just doing them ting. Doing so, them ting. Doing them doing, ting, yeah. my man. So, so I want to get into it. Before I read you anything or we react to anything or there's any violent reactions, I kind of wanted to check in with you guys. Because in all honesty, we have not had a relationship conversation in general in quite a while. We've quite not, a while. Yeah, we've not. You and I haven't had one in... A month, two months, month and a half, something like that. It's been a hot minute. One month and one week. <laughs> I remember. He's counting. He keeps Damn. Count. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. That, 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 that was a really good conversation. <laughs> it, it, it was. It was. Yeah. Well, my point being is we haven't had one in a hot minute. So I wanted to check in with you guys and like just get where you are mentally. In your mind, what constitutes a healthy relationship or a good relationship? Like from your own definitions. From your own experience. <laughs> Why don't we look at each other? Because, babe. <laughs> I, I, I see. Relationships with um, romantic relationships. Like, what constitutes a healthy relationship for you? Okay, why are you looking at me now? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think when you can deal with problems in a civil manner. I think okay. that uh, and you guys go through everything together instead of one person doing the main thing by, hims- by themselves. Uh, so, I mean, every, the whole group knows this. If they, I don't know why they always come to me, but I always come for like some good advice. Gail would know this. Uh, <laughs> but I think what it is is... Oh, God, Sat. Uh, for example, okay, if, if, I'm, if I'm arguing with someone, I don't want to be heated and having the argument. I'd rather have that person... And myself mm. cool off first, definitely, and then yeah. go back into the mm. the argument. Because if you go back into the argument just right off the bat, you're gonna say you're gonna say things which is which you don't want to, right? Yeah. Like you don't want to get into that level yeah. because it's gonna go nowhere. You spend hours and hours. This is gonna make it worse. It's gonna make it's gonna be worse. Yeah. You're gonna regret and it. you don't want to do that. Yeah. yeah. So normally, what I would do, what which would be, <laughs> is I'll say, hey, let's cool off for a bit. Have your own space. I'll have my own space. When you're ready to talk to me, that's how we're going to handle the situation. Because then you're both already cooled off, and then that's how I think would uh, classify as a healthy relationship so for me. It, I, it seems like the things that you've kind of keyed in on there is communication. For sure. Like reciprocity, I feel. like Because yes. wh- you're talking about like not just one-sided, so like teamwork. Yeah, understanding each other, okay. not just one side. Yeah. And like some degree of, of maturity, it seems for sure. For, I, I don't know how yeah, it's maturity, put it, yeah, yeah, but like you're right. emotional and mental maturity. I feel like yep. so those for you are the the main constituents of a healthy relationship for sure. So that's fair. What about you? For me, definitely um, communication is definitely key. Okay. Um, definitely, it shouldn't be one sided. Um, the whole point of having a relationship is not just to like mess around and just see where it goes. No, you have a goal in mind, you know, that 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 mm. you want to be able to bring your partner and 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 introduce them to your family and um introduce them to the hobbies that you like and just to have some sort of um it's so sad he's like he has flashbacks for you. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's like yes, I'm gonna tell you guys like uh. no but it's like, <laughs> I mean you can you can tell he's very like, experienced <laughs> 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 With what? Like unhealthy or healthy? Relationships. Just, I didn't uh, say unhealthy uh, or healthy. Roy didn't need to say more. He's just like, he's experienced. He's <laughs> ah, a no, veteran. You know? But communication and trust. For communication you. and trust and the fact that you respect each other's like boundaries or like your alone moments. There are days where you're not going to want to do something with your partner. And it's not because you don't love them or because you don't value them for your, their time or whatever. It's more of just like, hey, I want to have 
my own, my own. Exactly. You want to have yeah. your your me time, your you, alone time. You definitely time. need that in a relationship. You need a exactly. game with the boys. And <laughs> and there's it's that. Not me time. It's boys time. <laughs> Damn right. Damn right. <laughs> it's their time. There's that, but there's also uh, like you cannot you can't compromise um, the things that you're doing, like your work, um, for someone else. Um, it's more of like you got to focus on something and you, for example your work right you got to focus on your work and see where you're going before you can like compromise anything else with your partner you got to focus on that first because it's going to secure your future and that's what you want with that with your partner yeah. Yeah. you want to secure a future you want to secure all these things that you have uh, planned your goals your ambitions your dreams all of that so definitely um, the main constituents for a healthy relationship communication trust and just overall understanding of one another. This also seems like you have direction in mind. Though. Direction, definitely, yeah. Because like, when you go into a relationship, you're not just there to be like, hey, you're my boyfriend, you're my girlfriend, that's it. No, like when you get into a relationship, you want to go you to the next long-term? level. Yeah. Really? I don't want... <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I mean, it's fair. No, but for some people, it's just like, hey, let's, let, like, let's have no, a good relationship. No. But maybe we will end up together, maybe not, but... The enjoyment of the experience is there, but it, for you it seems like you, you really want, want that for an end game. Yeah, you're looking for something exactly significantly more long term. Yeah, definitely. That's I, I can yeah. get that. That's understandable. Um, experience. <laughs> so he's looking. He already knows where he's going. Mm. I wanted to ask you this. But <laughs> you have a different take to well, yeah. this. Well, well, hold up. To clarify, we should also say you are a single and mingleable fellow. Mingleable. I guess so. Yeah. Mingleable. Mingleable. <laughs> is that a word? Quote me. Be. Quote me. <laughs> Mingleable is the word starting today. Yeah. You are a... Experienced. <laughs> Clearly. I, I was going to say, <laughs> single and monk-like fellow. I didn't speak <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> okay. mm. And I am in a long-term relationship. How long have you been in a relationship for now? Hold on. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I can't answer that quick enough. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry. Uh, February 11th is my anniversary. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Blink yeah. if you need what help. Year? Uh, what year do you guys start? Of 2018. Blink if you need help. <laughs> okay. You passed. You passed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You passed. You passed. I'm in the cut. You're in the cut. Um, in the cut. No, uh, so, yeah, officially we've been together since February 11th of 2018. We started dating in November of 2017. So, hot minute now. It's, it's almost six, happy for you, bro. six yeah. years. You want to give a shout out? <laughs> <laughs> shout out to my one and only main side chick. I love you, baby. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, I don't know. Can we Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad that you guys, I'm just like, hey, I'm used to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's no, okay. like this. But, um, so I've been in a long term relationship, and Roy, you have. Not been in a relationship. Not experienced. No. Not experienced. Yeah. Inexperienced. Yeah. A, pri- a cadet. A cadet. Yeah, I'm a cadet. Field. I'm a cadet. So Maybe. what are you going to look for, though, in a relationship? Like, or, or, yeah, in your mind of what a relationship would be, what is a healthy relationship? Like, what does that look like to you? Um, I, I, I would definitely say from experiences that I've had, I've been with people, yeah. like talking with people uh, who have been in relationships, especially extremely toxic ones. So I know what it's, like, what I want in a relationship. So... I do agree with Gael. Um, communication. Thanks, bro. I did say the same thing a little bit, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, but he said communication word by word. Like, yeah, yeah, verbatim. Yeah, sure. Like, trust as well. Trust is something that I... Because, ex- honestly, a lot of people kind of misunderstand trust and communication. They really underestimate communication. Sure. Like, understanding is an, under that umbrella of communication. And for you to say, like, oh, why didn't you buy me food? Like, just an example. Why, why didn't you buy me food? I said I wasn't hungry, but, you know, you could have said you could have bought me something. That's still under communication. It is understanding. Yeah, okay. It is, yeah. yeah. I get what you mean. Small things like that. I really don't like, ah, I really don't want to drop examples, but, yeah, just, just communication. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to call out anyone. Uh, I would say, though, in the past two months, yeah. I've been talking with a lot of my friends. Not to name drop. <laughs> uh, a lot just, of my friends. You just talk about normal friends, yeah? Yeah, you guys. Oh, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, hold up. We're normal? Uh, <laughs> That's true. We're normal? I am. I don't know about you. <laughs> I'm giving you guys too much credit. I mean, I'm French. I'm not normal. That's fair. Okay, so you've been talking <laughs> with friends. <laughs> yeah. Um, all of which are in iffy relationships. 
Oh, okay. I see what you oh, mean. Oh, thank God. Yeah, <laughs> but relationships, nonetheless. Like it's it's, it's not it's not like <laughs> it's uh, it's not like it's n- not that they were like asking for advice or anything. They just wanted to someone to hear them out. They wanted to see you know things from different perspectives. That's also communication. Like the uh, people also underestimate what friends can do for a relationship. All right? Oh yeah. Uh, but in in the sense like oh I can fix it for you. No, they just want different r- perspectives. Like yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you call that when it's like a, a second doctor? Oh, <laughs> second opinion? Second opinion. Yeah, second yeah. opinion. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. No, no, no. no, 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 no. It's good. It's good. There's nothing wrong no, with that. No, but a also, opinion, it's not sure. right to always interject into someone's relationship because you never really know what 100% of the time what is happening. In oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Like, I never want to say, like, oh, I give such good advice. I, I'd much rather see it from a perspective of, of like, I'm just ears. Fair. Yeah. Fair. And, like, it's, it's good to always listen. No, I get And you. that's also. Uh, one another point. I, another point that I want this. in a relationship. You listen. need to in a relationship. listen. Yeah, of course, you need to listen. Because really if you really don't, you're done. at least no <laughs> Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Okay, th- that's actually a lovely segue into something else I'm kind of curious about. It's a very serious pod set, too. It's not particularly. I mean, I'm intense. extremely inexperienced. You can tell. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you could. You could. G. Yeah, but I mean, I'm inexperienced. <laughs> I'm inexperienced. All right, man. You and then when we check his history, he just has like. How many unknown baby moms? No, I'm just <laughs> but um, Damn. okay. You said you said about listening being so important, right? Yes. And w- let me ask you this: through your experiences and and or from the things you've heard as well, right? Yeah. What are things that you have now developed, especially like because you talk about re- listening, right? What are things you have developed that you're gonna like attributes, characteristics, or just learnings that you've had that you're gonna carry into your next relationship? Or that is going to be like, ah, okay, I, I'm really keeping this on mind for when I pursue a relationship with somebody. Roy? <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back to me on that one. What about you? That's, that's a tough one. Um, all right, all right. How, have you not been self-reflective enough to be like, yeah, no, I, I have. Come this. W- w- definitely what I'm, what I'm doing right now is just focusing on my career and focusing on you guys, the boys. That's fair. No, 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 what what I'm doing right now is I'm just focusing on my job, yeah. on making good income, taking care of my mom, taking care of my family. And yourself, too. Myself, yeah. and just enjoying my time with you guys and making the most of it every single day. But how would you carry on to the next relationship? Since you had previous relationships, right? I'd definitely be more... Anything that you can bring on to the next Oh, yeah, absolutely. How, like, Proceed. <laughs> <laughs> Give us one prime example of what like affected you the most. In like past relationships? Past relationships. Mm. Should I speak for you? Oh! Kidding! I'm not an expert. Definitely, yeah. it, it, it goes back to what I said earlier: the communication. Yeah. If your partner doesn't reciprocate what you're saying, or like is not validating whatever you're saying, and you keep telling them like, "Hey, I know this is this is this is a possibility that what's going to happen. I know that you know the situation kind of sucks, but hey." I'm giving you, I'm voicing out my concern, but you're not accepting it. And it's only after that, you know, sorry to say, but shit hits the fan. And then it's like kind of saying like, you're, you were right. You knew what was going to happen. It still happened. Yeah. So for me, I'm just taking everything like slowly. So I'm not, step. Step, yeah, definitely step by step. You got to keep that pimp hand strong. <laughs> 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 okay, you know what? I think I, I do get what you're saying to some degree. You're... Because something I do think is 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 not an issue you have, but empathy without boundaries, where you go and go and go, and you're like, hey, let me take five minutes for myself. Mm-hmm. That could be helpful for me. You know what I mean? And that that's something you seem to be prioritizing by doing, getting the dream job that you wanted, right? That now you have, gaming with the boys, hanging, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. No, I haven't gamed with you guys in a long time. <laughs> you have a Mac. Personal preference for myself. I think it's a. I think it's a you problem. That is, <laughs> don't put on us. Yeah. I'm game with you guys. Yeah, because yeah, I own a Mac. Like, <laughs> but but effectively, the thing that you're talking about, right? Yeah. Uh, the, where you're doing your dream job, hang out with the boys, et cetera, et cetera. Even though fine, focusing on my self growth. Yeah, that is the thing That's that you're what prioritizing. I'm concentrating on that you're ready to take into your next relationship. Absolutely. 
Okay, Absolutely. that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. What about you, Tony? Still thinking? Uh, <laughs> no, I would say I'm ready to be in a relationship right now, but I think what I've carried on from my previous was just more communication and more having self-time. Mm. Um, I think if you guys are too together too long, too together too long, it makes sense to you guys, but it will just... You'll just clash a lot of things. Like, oh, what do we do now? What do we do this? Well, yeah. I don't want to do this. You know, stuff like that. It's going to cause a lot of problems. Unless if you have your me time and you plan towards uh, something you want to do with your girlfriend, at least there's balance. You know what I mean? You always have to have balance in, in, a, oh, in a relationship. Sorry for that. But I think time, me time, communication is what I'll bring to the next one. And uh, you said space before, right? Space, yeah. yeah space. Just your, so your, maybe your boundaries as boundaries. well? Boundaries. Okay. Mm. Yeah, space. That space. makes sense. I get that. Like, whilst I'm not going to inherently think of taking something <coughs> into an, another relationship, something I think of taking into the further portion of the relationship that I'm in, right, is... Marriage. What's up? Whoa. Relax. Woo! Relax. Ding, 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 this isn't ding. how this is going. <laughs> is um. <laughs> oh, he just said no. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I said it. He's <laughs> <laughs> on <all> thin ice. <laughs> uh, I'm skating. She comments, table. "What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> this is Antarctica, baby. We going? <laughs> this is really no, no. Nah, nah. <laughs> if I ain't gonna marry my girlfriend, I ain't gonna marry you. <laughs> no, um, uh, that's, is that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> is um, is the listening communication portion? Because, like, for example, right, something that's a. Uh, that the definitely is, is good to develop or something I did develop, right, is sometimes with my girlfriend, because she also has anxiety, right, is sometimes something that's the problem isn't always the problem, right? Sometimes, I'm, um, <laughs> this is a random example. This isn't real, right? But And I feel like this has to, I don't know if this is every man or if this is what you experience, right? But you know how like men, at the very least, and I'm generalizing here, right, will be focused mm -hmm. on a solution-based problem or solution-based mentality, right? Um, it could be something as random as she, she says to me, the egg carton in, in the fridge only has only fits 12 eggs, and I have 16, and I'm like, just put them in a bowl. This is, like, in my mind, the, the, right, the, that's as it is, right? I'm like, this is a very simple solution. Just go. And part of that listening, part of being empathetic, right, is, like, it's not actually the eggs or whatever. This small problem that isn't actually the problem, it's something deeper, right? And paying attention to that thing goes back to mm -hmm. what you were saying is, is, is the understanding, right? Definitely communication, but the listening and the understanding portion is something I focus on to self-reflect and bring into the later portions of my relationship then that way when 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 so something along the lines of um of of <laughs> oh, we're we're down to three grocery bags ah it's not about the the grocery bags or the trash <laughs> bags there's something what is the matter you know what i mean <laughs> rather than being like hmm, just buy something, you know? <laughs> almost heartless but yeah. that's definitely a, a learning or or something i'm i'm conscientious of mm -hmm. in that sort of sense. What about you, Roy? From the relationships that you've been able to observe and or the experiences you've been able to observe, what are things that you're like, okay, I'm going to glean that to self-reflect and grow in order to have as a, 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 a fundamental basis for my relationship All if right. you get into one or whatever? Right, sit back, relax, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you, actually guys you actually did. All right. So I, I would say I, I am inexperienced with these things, but I would say I've definitely grown from the mistakes I have done before. And okay. one example of that is I made a horrible mistake back in the, in, in the past, like in, during uni. Sure. Right? And not to get into too much detail, but um, things fumbled and I lost a lot of my friends. And Understandable. One of them being is that I was way too harsh to myself, okay. right? Uh, there was a lot of things that I did in the past where, uh, you know, I lied, <laughs> spilled other people's secrets, mm -hmm. all that, all those things that I should have not done, right? But I was doing those things because I thought that, you know, all my friends like me, so why wouldn't they like me if I just did one mistake? But I kept stacking on and stacking on. And I think you remember this, uh, just one time I just stopped talking, right? I just yeah. put, on, uh, put on hold everyone in yeah. my life. And... What happened at that time was uh, during COVID, um, things just weren't right in my life. So there was something that happened where I heard something going on, like my name was being thrown around, not in a good way. Um, it was like, hey, uh, Roy is blank. Roy is blank. Uh, Roy did blank. You know, something's right, something's wrong. Like, some things were false, some things were true. 
But to get around it was like, th- I'll give you a story about this. I think I told you, I, I said this story before. Uh, there was a lot in my life where I just didn't like myself, especially in high school. Yeah. And in the mirror, I would go on about like, oh, Roy, you are disgusting. You are not worth anything. And that's why I would hang around my friends because I love them. I would think about their lives. And then I would think about mine. I was way too altruistic and never in the sense where it's very selfless. There was no empathy in that. Yeah. And um, when all those things happened and I was about to do things to myself, that's when I looked in the mirror and I said, I love you. That was the first time ever in my life I've heard the word I love you said back to me. And that's by me. <laughs> you know, it's kind of sad. But well, you got to love yourself first. Though. Exactly. Yeah. That's, the, that's, the, else, that's yeah. the thing I was going to wrap up on, yeah. on, uh, on that. Like as much as communication, trust, uh, space, time is important. Mm. You need to love yourself before you can love anyone else. Because that's Absolutely. you really need Absolutely. to understand what love is. Yeah. And Damn that should right. start from you. Yeah. Definitely. And, you know, that's one lesson that I've still yet to learn. Like, I, as I said, I'm inexperienced, but I've learned things. Because uh, I'll give you one example. Most of the time, I'm in my, in my bed, <laughs> right? It yeah. doesn't look like, it looks like I'm sad, like playing games by myself. But I love myself too much. I love spending time with myself. It's fair. Yeah. And um, I- if it looks like I'm not talking to anyone, it's just, because, it's just because I'm still learning to love myself. I've only started liking myself three years ago. Yeah. I'll be honest. Three years ago. We're happy. We're all, I think I speak for everyone that we're happy that yeah. you love yourself. Like, right? I'm just saying, like, I'm not really desperate to find an, a relationship. Like, yeah. I'm very happy with where I am right now. Yeah. And I'm still learning, you know? Yeah, I'm still yeah. stupid. I can I can happily <laughs> say that I'm still learning. I think like, we all are, man. We all are. And I'm so happy to say that. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. I never want to be... I'll, I'll put it this way. It's better to be wrong now than learn later. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I it's yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 hard to cook. You know, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I get yeah. You, I get you. It's it's it, what I'll say is that it's better for people to say like communication is uh, when you talk about relationships. I'm putting this into a different different perspective. It's it's nice to hear someone tell you that you're wrong. It's beautiful. Sure. I I love being told I'm wrong. It's bec- it, it, in the sense where it's I like if I'm doing you. something wrong, I want to be told right now. Yeah. Like I want to be told like, yes. please fix this. So, you know, we can talk. I got you, bro. Normal. Yeah. <laughs> but no. It, he would know it the most. <laughs> but you it, would know it the most as well. But also, communication is putting it lightly to someone. You can't just yeah. go on about. Okay, I don't do that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You're, no, no, no. I, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Uh, people who like brutal honesty either like the brutality or the honesty. Yeah. And you definitely like the brutality. And you like the honesty. <laughs> and I love the honesty. Um, it kind of now brings me into this sort of question. Smaller questions, less, less 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 deep. I mean, I appreciate that. I'm not player hating on the deepness, <laughs> but let's 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 mellow it out a bit. I have a question for you, and I mean this to be simple. I wonder if it's gonna go deep. Is love enough for you? Like in a relationship, do you think love is enough? You know, now that I say this, doesn't sound wow, so simple. Wow, that's not a simple question at all. Does but no, but like, do you think that you could sustain a relationship solely on love, or do you think that's just not? Like they're asking more, like with a friendship kind of thing. Friendship, no, but like you want it to be a, your best friend. Yeah, or or is 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 love it? Like, how long do you? Th- I mean, I'll ask you a better question. How long do you think you could stay in a relationship just loving somebody? That's a. It wouldn't be long. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Next. <laughs> no, because think of it. Like, of course, you want her to be your friend. You guys want to have something in common, right? Yeah. yeah. You want to have interests together. If you just love each other and you guys don't have anything in common, it ain't going to last long, in my opinion. No, that's true. That's true. The reason I asked this, because I, I, I kind of wanted to use it as a segue to the second thing, is what are deal breakers for you in a relationship? Like, what's something you're like, okay, because like you were talking earlier, right, about, hey, okay, I, if there's a problem, let's face it together, da, 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 which is a really good and healthy mentality, in my opinion, right? But obviously, there, for everybody, there's some sort of threshold, there's some sort of point where it's just like, yup, this is... This oh, like a, like a like a bad flag. Yeah, red sure. What are your red flags? Deal breaker. Yeah. What? No, no. What are your red flags and what are your deal breakers? What is something that you know what? I just, I just. Let's can't. do one first. Let's do deal breaker. deal breakers. So, and you obviously like, if you want to be shallow, fine. If you're like, hmm, if she has a, a unibrow, I just can't. You know what I mean? <laughs> fine. It's sold. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you want to be, fine. But like, more so than that, what are your like deal breakers? For me personally, it's gonna have to. 
be someone that I could vibe with, you know what I mean? Who could read it, read the crowd, who could read the room, <laughs> or <laughs> it no, is a deal if breaker. Someone can't do that. If someone yeah. can. No, 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 no. Oh, deal breakers is deal is if she. That's like a big no no. Yeah. Oh, a big. A bit, I thought the thing was falling. So, up what's right the now. difference of like between like a deal breaker or a red flag to Tony or for, for okay, for, like even me? Okay, I don't sure. Understand. I'll give I'll like, an example. <laughs> like I don't a, know. a deal breaker is say you're with somebody right, and they cheat with you and on you in a relationship. For some people, done. That's it. No more recovery from that, right? A red flag would be like, hmm, she's always on her phone, and this might not be a great basis for communication. So, oh. a red flag is just, is a warning sign. Okay. A deal breaker it. is like, I, this is the point. It's of, done. Yeah. Okay, I have two then. Uh, the first one would be if you can't hold up a conversation. I don't want to be always initiating the conversation and holding it. I want you to be able to pick it up with me and yeah. go back and forth. Because if I'm doing all the talking, you're just like, yeah, it's so cute. No, <laughs> it's like, what? Like, come on, baby. Give me, some, give me more. Dance with me <laughs> now. Come on, <laughs> work with me. Come on, dance with me. Move with me. I'm bringing you in. I'm bringing you in, yeah. <laughs> Tag me Tang, in. Tag me in. Tango with me, you know what I mean? But that's one of them. If you can't hold one, I'm sorry, but you got to go. That's fair. You know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> swipe left. <laughs> yeah. Walk. <laughs> um, another one is, this is just a personal thing for me. If you've dated a lot of people in the past, because that just signals to me that you can't hold a relationship. If you like, for example, okay, if you okay. date, let's say for a uh, number would be around seven or eight. Okay. Now I'm not saying this the lady's fault, but it will show me that you guys cannot work towards and holding a relationship. Mm. Um, mm, okay. So. That's too a massive much. red flag for you. Yeah. It also depends on circumstances. Well, it I was does. Ju- I was just it about does. to ask. Yeah. What if, like, say, uh, in a two year period, like he like, died? <laughs> oh my God. No, no, <laughs> no. Oh, oh, like, what? Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> Come on, I gotta spice this up sometime, <laughs> right? <laughs> he died. Oh, wait, Tony's there celebrating. Uh, I caught one over on her ex. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm still alive. I gotta spice up this conversation Jesus somehow. <laughs> no, but like, okay, yeah. say, say, like, a two year period, right? Okay. She was in a dark place, had like say, eight, ten relationships, right? And then for like, Two or three years, she didn't have a relationship, right? She's been single, working on herself for two, three years, whatever, right? And then you meet her and whatever gets talking, and then you find out that information. Where are you now with that? Is that still as much of a red flag to you? Or, like, are you, like, open enough that, okay, like, I can try to take a look at the work you've done over the past couple of years? It would have to take time. Um, I mean, in my last relationship, it didn't, I clearly didn't have time. (laughs) It was just when, boom, we just got into it, right? Um, I think for the next time that we do it, I would have to take not just days, not weeks, probably months to get this to get to know this person and yeah. see progress of what she's telling me. Okay, like if I've built something for myself, if she will tell, if she will tell me that, then I'll be like, okay. Well, let me see it. Let me let's work towards it. Let's see how you've progressed so far. And if I do see something, like okay, there's potential here. Sure. Um, but if it's like. Uh, I broke up with him last month, and I think I'm ready to go back again. <laughs> Tenth time the charm. I'm just like, <laughs> sorry, like it's not gonna work. You're for not me. about it. No, for okay, sure. Okay, that's fair. What about you, Gail? Like, w- w- when you take off the uh, the gloves, w- what are your Red flags. We're deal breakers for you. When she can't fight me back. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> oh my lord, Jesus! Woo, again, I, was, I, got, like again I gotta spice yeah, it up, guys. Like I'm that. telling you, I just gotta spice it up. <laughs> that was the habanero on that one. You know what I mean? Gail yeah, is not like that. that. Was a gypsy bus on <laughs> no, that one. Huh? <laughs> no, okay. no, sweet guy, sweet guy. I want to suck his. Wait, what, Roy? <laughs> Move on. <laughs> this guy. What? Okay. So as I was saying, lock your doors. <laughs> we need a sus. Can we put a sus counter right here? You know what I mean? G- oh, <laughs> Ooh, what serendipity! <laughs> I meant synchronicity. Okay. Anyways, for you, right? Yeah. W- when you're just like fully, you know, analyzing it and you were thinking about it, what are red flags for you? Also, when you not just take off the gloves, when you take off the rose-colored glasses, <laughs> what are the red flags for you? Between red flags and deal breakers, before the red flags, the d- one of the biggest deal breakers for me is it has something. It's close to what you said earlier. Like um, they have to like be able to like bounce back uh, yeah. on a conversation, right? When you're talking about something with a lot of intent and a lot of like meaning behind it, where you're trying to share with them like your hobbies, your interests, or anything like that, 
and then they don't say anything or they're just on their <laughs> phone while she's like, in. I want to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, but indirectly. Well, she's like, cool story, bro. <laughs> no, they're just like on their <laughs> phone like constantly. <laughs> yeah. Like they're on their phone constantly, like not even like looking at you or just being like, oh, okay, yeah. And you're just there like, why am I wasting my time? Yeah. You, you know what? <laughs> no. You tell her a story, right? And she, she, like, she loves it. She tells she's like, I'm done. I want to go to bed now. <laughs> she's like, no. She's like, what? No, because <laughs> that's not that entertaining, yeah, babe. Yeah, you have to reciprocate. You have to oh, have to, oh. I you have was to end up like, reciprocating with you. Yeah, yeah. for sure. You know? Okay. So that's one, one. I would say one of the main deal breakers for me. That's understandable. Is, uh, when you can't, uh, with your partner, like, um, give them like a certain type of attention, or like you know, when you're like really trying to understand, or like trying to give, like have a, co- a proper conversation. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Red flag. Red flag, red flag, damn. Uh, before relationship or like like talking stage <laughs> or in relationship? Just say it. Just say it. Just, just say, it. Just just say, it. say, it. say it. I mean, definitely a red flag is like anything has to do with like cheating or any form of abuse, whether it's like mental or physical. Mm. I, I would like really hope big so. Red flag. Yeah, that's a do big you have red any flag. Other? I would really hope so. No, like whether it's it, whether it's like in the past relationships, like before, oh. like that, if, that if she's if, cheated on her previous. Or abused, or abused, either yeah. physical or mental. Yeah. Like yeah, any yeah, any any form of yeah. mental or physical abuse is just a big like red flag. That's like yeah, yeah, the most sure. messed up thing. You can well, do I'll throw it part. back to you again. What if she said? What's that? Told me. What if she's changed? Would you still? Okay. <laughs> I don't, don't phrase it. <laughs> what he, if she's changed? No, I'm, he did not. No, no, no. <laughs> the next thing you'd be like. I can fix him. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my favorite You word. say everything. This I is Roy's that. catchphrase. <laughs> that's his catchphrase. He comes him. into a room and he's like, I can fix her. <laughs> <laughs> I love saying it, though. Okay, but yeah, okay, fine. So, so, so say she had a really messed up relationship. You know what? Let's put it real bad, right? Mm. Say she cheated multiple times, mentally and physically abused him, right? And she, that was a, a huge, like, rock bottom. She hit a turning point, started working, and it's been two years. I, I'm just getting a random example, right? And you meet her, and you start talking about her. Is is that sh- obviously it's a red flag? But is that also like enough of a deal breaker that you're like, super cool? I'm glad for you. I, I just can't. Or like, are you like, mm, I'm, I'm, l- let's talk? Like, where are you at with it? If it's some, if it's someone that I've known before, and they've gone through that, work their way through, and they're somewhat their better self, better yeah. version of themselves. Of course, I'd be definitely happy. I'm, I always want to sure, be happy sure, sure, for sure. everyone. I just want yeah, love yeah, for everyone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if I were, for example, to get back with someone, it'd be hard because the trust was already broken. You know what I mean? Like the trust yeah, or yeah, like yeah. all the, the foundation that you guys were built on. It's tough. I don't I like have any ill intention, uh, ill like thoughts towards them. You know, I just want them to see them thrive and like do what they, th- they, they love doing. But having that in the back of your memory is just going to haunt you every single day. What if it's a new chick? What if, like, you, you had no, no knowledge of this person, but as you're getting to get to I like, don't know, know that's, that's... This is like Tinder profiles for every <laughs> one of us right now, you know what I mean? Hold up. That's what I'm going to segue to. <laughs> oh, God. No, no, hold on, no, no. But, but uh, like, yeah, so say it's a new chick, right? You, you, you're not best friends with her. Mm. But as you're getting to know her, she's like, yeah, okay, so, you know, two years ago, whatever, I dated this guy. Yeah. Th- all these bad things happened. I've been working on myself. Da, da, da. Are you open enough to be like, okay, let's, like, see where this goes? <laughs> or, like, Jesus Christ. Or can we get a close-up of that? Or no thanks. <laughs> or um, or are you like so adamant about this like deal breaker that you're like, you know what? You seem like a cool person. I'm glad for where you are, but I just can't um pursue a relationship with you, or I'm just not open to that for whatsoever. Me it's more just like I don't want to like jump into a conclusion where I haven't like tried anything. You know, I so don't you're still open to it. I'm still open to it, but like I said previously, like I want to work on myself first before yeah. I can engage in anything else. Yeah. So for me, it's more, what are you guys doing? Nothing. <laughs> what happened? This is going to be a great clip later. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> we're gonna, no we're li- I'm As you're saying, we're listening. We're listening. Me, it's just that if it's a new chick and everything, it's more just like if she's comfortable enough talking to me about these things, yeah. then it shows that she already has like some sort of trust. Sure, sure, sure. And that does help having transparency and that type of trust. Of course, I'm not gonna be yeah. like jump to jump the gun and be like, okay, you're gonna be my girlfriend, you're gonna be my wife in the next like two weeks. I that really would hope not. <laughs> no, definitely no. not. But like, what I mean is like, you just take things slowly, take your time, just just be there for one another, understand each That's other. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? Okay, I get yeah. you. I I How would say How yeah, I would you? say similarly. Like, I definitely think Tinder. Wait, what? No, wait. <laughs> he's in a relationship, bro. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'll censor it. I'm good. <laughs> what? <laughs> or should I? Good boy. <laughs> also. Never. Listen, where it's really at is not Tinder. Go to Facebook Marketplace. You look up wedding dresses. 
All what? right. You look at recently divorced women in your area. I'm kidding. Relax. Oh Holy crap. God. Relax. I just want to know how you know this. How do you know this? <laughs> I'm on Reddit a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> we know that very well. Don't we, Tone? <laughs> no. What? I don't know Reddit now. <laughs> okay. Okay. But for in terms of red flags, I definitely think like the inability to communicate. Like I think a lot of what you guys said, That's the inability to communicate, yeah. like, it's a huge red flag. Tony, you used the word earlier, vibe. If the vibe isn't there, I know that's so general, and that's what it. Uh, in some kind senses, of vibe. <laughs> it's kind of vibe. What a terrible way of putting it. But realistically speaking, if you can't reset, oh here, I, I, I'll put it in the way I, I, I would put it. If you can't find a mutual connection, mentally, spiritually, physically, sexually, and whatnot with somebody else, spit right, and like Yo, really harmonize on those frequencies, what? then yes. Or in other words, if you can't vibe, then yes, that's a huge red flag. You good, son? <laughs> All right. Golden. Um, also, I would say like the inability to critically think would be a huge deal breaker for me. You know what I mean? Oh, you don't like stupid people. Okay, that's not what I said. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I, to generalize it. No, but no, no. Because here, the inability to try to crit- critically think. I don't mind if an individual is like, maybe you don't know this much about that leisure domain, right? But if you're like, oh, what's this? What's that? Da, 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 let me find this out. Cool. You know what I mean? But if you're just like, like I was saying, hmm, cool story, bro, and then move on, I'm like, ah, like I'm show, not about show, this. Show interest. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like show ask interest. questions. Yeah, show interest. Exactly. Don't just be like, oh, yeah. I don't expect somebody to, to have the exact exact same yeah. interest yeah. as me. But as long as you're like, cool, what's this? What's that? Let me try. How do you do this? Mm-hmm. Then yeah, yeah. that's the most important yeah, thing. So, so if there's not yeah. that, then that's a huge So it comes flag. back to the, the communication. Communication yeah. is key. And yeah, it's, 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 is it like, because um, personally, I like it when people say that they don't know something. Yeah. Uh, so, it, like, that, that's amazing to me for someone to say, like, oh, I, for example, like, I just saw Mission Impossible in the back, so I'll use that in a second. Sure. <laughs> I don't know anything about Mission Impossible, but they were not, not going to pause on that conversation. They'd be like, is there a good start, starting point to this? Yeah. Or may you please talk about it more since you yeah. seem so interested. I get you yeah. on that. Like, like the, when yeah. they don't know, but then they also show interest, that's just yeah. like, oh. That's a, no, yeah, that's that's what's a green up. flag. That, yeah, that's, that's, that's a they definitely they big green flag. Yeah, that's Big true. ups, mm-hmm. big ups. What about you, Roy? What are some like red flags or deal breakers that you've noticed and you're like, mm-hmm, I see you. I see you, snakes. I ain't going to fall into uh, okay. that. Trip. I've seen this happen so many times. It's just trust. Uh, the extreme sense would be like cheating, of course. Obviously. But the smaller sense, but still a big deal is... Uh, when you hear a secret that you've told to your partner, but you hear it from someone else, mm. then yeah. they spill secrets. You know what I mean? Like wait, 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 what do you mean? Like if if, if so, like I think what he's trying to say is like you tell your partner a very dark secret or like something that you like that you something that's like someone. traumatic or like yeah. something that you experienced or something that you heard, yeah. and only that person is supposed to know. And then outside of that uh, relationship, you hear it from someone else. Oh damn! To me, that's almost as big as cheating. That's kind of that's, that's kind of pa- that's there. painful. That's, yeah, that's, that's so painful. Extreme is uh, cheating, but yeah. like not to put measurements yeah, yeah. or metrics to this. Or just talking shit about anyone on on. on I line. hate that. Like I hate that. No, I d- th- I. That's a big red flag to me. Yeah. If you talk shit behind anyone's back, let alone True. family member, friend, family. That's why I just do it in like front of them. You know what I, mean? I was I was about to say that's, that's why, why I he's brutally in. honest. <laughs> No, but <laughs> you like the brutality. No, no, I think it's good. If you're gonna, if you want to talk about somebody, if you set, make sure to say it to them. Right? <coughs> say it to them, and then whatever you say, what you want to say, because mm. it's the exact same thing. But have at least the common decency to be like, you know what? I don't like the cut of your jib, fellow. You know? What yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think that's sadly, a bit too kind. I was yeah. like, hey, bud, fix it. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I think you have the deal with it mentality. Sadly. Where it's like you just say anything, deal with it. You're bearded. No. Yeah. Well, You're a bearded when what? I <laughs> we gotta bleep that on the yeah, YouTube, yeah. no matter oh, what. We have to. <laughs> yeah. We have to. <laughs> but yeah. moving on. Ah. Moving on. Um, okay. Yeah, I agree so though. That's I'm, fair. I'm, 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 I'm very brutal when it comes to these kind of things. Yeah, the deal with it type of mentality, and it's not bad. It is. It can be sometimes, but like at least at you the same time, it. it's like you listen. If I'm gonna tell you something. I don't, how you take it is up to you, but you deserve to know it. Might as well just say it. Don't beat around the bush. Just say just it. Be, just, just, just say but, it. But you say it. I, I, I'm not going to go like, hey, Roy, how should I tell this to that to you? That, listen, shut you your sh- mouth. You should. Right? You should what? think that. No, you but, should think that, though. Like, yeah, I was about have, to say. Having to yeah, yeah, be definitely. empathetic. Yeah, yeah. definitely. You, you can still be honest, but there's a good way to do it. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, for sure. Always. For sure. I know that. Yeah. Always. Okay, let, let, let's, let's end on a more fun note. So I've been on Reddit, and they say, you know, dresses. Wait, what's that? What's Reddit? It's a great place. Uh, they say, yeah, yeah. If, if you go to the Facebook marketplace, look up <laughs> wedding dresses Six to find, you'll find these broken cars. <laughs> you'll find these widowers 
or not widowers. Oh, that's so sad. No, not widowers, not widowers, just women who's married. Yeah, divorcees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's where to go, right? Especially the cougars. It's fantastic. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Listen, this is what Reddit's told me. This All is right, what I must Tiger believe. King. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched that, so I don't get the reference. <laughs> you dressed like one. Oh, that's good. That's but true, l- let me ask you this. Seeing as you boys are in the game, you know what I mean? Talk to me. What's the game like nowadays? Where is your standing? How are you playing? So far, I'm one down. <laughs> <laughs> but you're active on the game. I am active on the game. I am. Oh, all right. Is there like, are you pushing for it? You're trying right now? I'm trying. I'm looking, but I'm not forcing it. If it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, boo. No, no, but I'm talking specifically about like dating apps. Yeah, like, so I know. That's where I was going. Okay. I'm one down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, because here's the thing, right? Now, I wouldn't know, but what it at least seems like from, I don't know how many thousands of Reddit stories. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you're using thousands. that to like cover up yourself. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Listen, from the, from the stuff from, I remember. From experience. I mean Reddit stories. <laughs> Whew, you <should> almost slipped. <laughs> <laughs> you slipped right there. No, but like it, the, the, the pulse of the culture seems that dating apps are mainly for hookups and there is like almost zero substance within them. From your, does that like, does your experience seem similar to that? Is what is that like? Do you think you can actually find love on dating apps? Is your soulmate out there on Tinder? Mm. I I've, uh, nev- I've personally never created a single Tinder or any dating app profile ever. You should. You're hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, the thing with me is right. I have Tinder and Bumble. I've just never met someone in person on that app. Never. Fair. So I don't know why. I think it's more of a trust thing, like catfish or something like that. They might, oh, they're going catfish. Like, I'm going to meet this cute girl. Oh, shit, it's a 40-year-old man. <laughs> like, you know? Well, uh, that's the work with that. <laughs> that's <laughs> the thing. It's kind of easy to spot catfishes on Tinder. It's just like, that, no, not no, no, really. no. If she's on beautiful, Tinder? but her name is like 091. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, so you wouldn't know in Dubai then. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so wait, oh, wait, 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 you. wait. I'll give a little context. In I know Dubai. Man, no, 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 we don't need context. No, you just need to know in This Dubai, is good. This is let her cook. Let him cook. In Dubai, <laughs> the Tinder profiles have phone numbers on them besides <laughs> names. Okay. Now, Roy Cook, because I want to know how you know that. That's what I'm saying. Oh, we don't need my context. Show me, like, oh, 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 she's so oh, cute. She's a friend. Friend. Yeah, friend. Oh, okay. You don't know them. <laughs> Muhammad Ahmed, right? Muhammad Ahmed. Or whatever other common names are out there. Abdul. Billy Bob Joe. <laughs> Abdul. <laughs> Billy Bob Joe Abdul. Abdul. You know what I mean? <laughs> we don't know them, right? Yeah. What friends, Roy? <laughs> Jamal. Censored. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, go ahead. Where you go? Oh, you're, no, you're about to ask me something. Yeah, you seeing as you, you, what's up? You seem to know the Tinder game well. Not at all. I, I think I'm the only one in the group that's active. Yeah, actually. Yeah. But yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm talking to someone right now. And Ooh. I know. Spy Shout guy. her out. No, I'm just going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm not rushing into it. I mean, if it pushes, it pushes. Great. But if it doesn't, that's fine. Do you think, though, that you, like from these dating apps, you're going to find anything of substance? Do you think that there's love to be found? Do you think Not there's a relationship? Not on Tinder, on Bumble, sure. Or what, whatever yeah. the app. Just any dating app. Yeah, yeah. I d- it doesn't matter what it is. I think so. Generally. I think so, yeah. But yeah. It'll, it'll take premium. It'll accounts. take a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty premium. <laughs> oh, I see. You need to pay. Good ad. To Good find ad. love. This is this is prostitution with extra steps. See that <laughs> <laughs> No, because, like, of course, you have to pay for extra stuff, like, to see who likes you, to add super likes and... Yeah, we'll get to that later. <laughs> that isn't to say that you can you can't find it from just basic accounts or just basic. Uh, He's, he plans. just has a bumble just like seven a, day trial, you know. Yeah, yeah it's a, it's easier to find it just based I on I metric. Yeah. You, get, you got <laughs> I bumble get you, light, I get not bumble pro. No, I got premium. premium. You got, I got Bro, premium it's, it's, it's cheap in the Philippines. <laughs> it is, yeah. Gee, okay. So effectively, what you're saying is you do actually, at the end of the day, mm. believe that you can find love from dating apps of sorts. I think so. Yeah. Okay, that's an interesting. I've point. never have, but I think I, w- I think I could. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Yeah, that is definitely interesting because I'm not gonna lie to you. The the maybe <laughs> maybe I'm just on TikTok and Reddit too much, but the the pulse of it <laughs> oh, seems. Oh, now that's the you new think cover that's for you. You, no, you think, bud? No, no, I know, I don't. I still, <laughs> I, I, I still have a couple extra hours. No, but it just seems like um, maybe this is just the pulse of the culture nowadays. But people are so done out with dating apps that they just have no interest in them whatsoever. 
and there just seems to be no substance. But if that's the case, you know what, Tony? What I would like you to do is continue on, document your process, write a Reddit story, uh, create a TikTok account, upload it so that way it puts the audiobook version of it so I can listen to your success stories Day of 50 Dave Lane. still single. <laughs> 50M. You know. <laughs> but for yeah, me, yeah, yeah. But for me I'm old school. Like I don't like using dating apps. I'd prefer like meeting a person. You and I like organic yeah. relationships. We're hopeless right. romantics. I guess. It's kind of sad. No, though. we're just hopeless. I, yeah, I don't know about the romantic. <laughs> Speak for me. Yeah. Anyway. Some interesting adjectives you're using here. Anyways. But, right. but it seems like the general consensus of what we talked about today is Trust and communication are like the most quintessential things you guys find. Absolutely. And that's... I've and premium, Bumble premium. Trust, and Bumble premium. Trust, communication, and Bumble premium are the quintessential things that you want to take into your next relationship mm. that you've developed with in yourself. And I guess that that's seems like a nice message to give to people. Well, don't subscribe to Bumble premium while in a relationship. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, 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 like, don't yeah. do that. All right, sorry, sorry. Use, you know what? Use common sense. You know what I mean? I feel like we should we said a lot of things. It's expensive, kind of, uh, huh? You have to buy Bumble Premium for that one. <laughs> like, common sense Gosh, should be bought. Hard, we yeah. <laughs> Nevertheless, um, I feel like those are some pretty good points. Yeah. Honestly, um, I, we'll pick this up at another time. There's more Reddit. I'll There's actually a read a Reddit. About. Yeah, I'll read yeah. another because I didn't even read the Reddit stories. I'll read the Reddit stories next time. If you want to see a part two and or the litany of other Reddit stories I read. And, and if you have some, comment them in the comment section below. Tweet us. Hit us up on Instagram or wherever else. And um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys very much. Peace, guys. We've been Overoyce. De lo haces.